Halito, y'all. This is Chief Steve coming at y'all with another episode of True Story. Just a short video this time. I wanted to let you guys uh, know that I did a little research on this image here. I know you've seen this in one of my shorts, and you've probably seen it around the channel, uh, around the YouTubes. Just on different people's channels and, and seeing this image constantly flash up, just resembling that American Aborigines are copper colored people. But there's actually a story behind this uh, this image here. This is actually a daughter and a father. And they are of royalty. Now I'm going to let y'all see that right now. So let me pause for the cause. I'll pull up some information. Something I found that's real interesting. All right, y'all, I'm back. So this is Rainbow Sisteso. She's a Sioux Indian girl and granddaughter of Chief Yellow Cloud. So, who died in 1927. So actually, that was a that was a uh, daughter and a girl, granddaughter and 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 grandfather in that image. But um, she has an interesting story here that I have found. And shout out to a research guy. He's the one that actually uh, found this. So I'm just reiterating. He went over it a little bit. And I'm just, you know, highlighting. So I'll be sure to shout you out, tag your handle and everything. I like the work you do, bro. Just keep doing what you're doing. But real quick, it says Rainbow Sisteso, Sioux Indian girl and granddaughter of Chief Yellow Cloud, who died in 1927 at the age of 116 years, is in Los Angeles after having hiked from Chicago. So this sister literally walked from Chicago, Illinois to Los Angeles, California. And I'm pause for the cause. I'm just show you how much mileage that is exactly. Alrighty, y'all. Uh, as y'all can see, this is about a 31 day trek from Chicago, Illinois to Los Angeles, California. And that's just going by the modern trails and highways and different things of that nature. Keep in mind, this took place back in the 30s. So, yeah, a lot of the stuff that's out there now probably wasn't even out there back then. And this isn't even the guaranteed route that she had took. This is just Google getting you there in the quickest way possible. Obviously, there was no Google back there. She didn't have no, I mean, I'm not going to say she didn't have no maps or anything. Nobody really knows too much of the specifics of the trail or the hike. And then, you know, to get into those those are like different paywalls and things that you have to go through to get to those different archives. So, you know, if you would like me to go in deeper into this story and try to dig and try to find some more information on there, by all means, you know, when it's time to support, please show me that support, you know, and I'll be more than happy to follow up on this story. But this is just a general idea. This is about a 31 day walk today. So that just goes to show that, um, this woman was strong and she wasn't playing. She had she knew where she wanted to go and she got there. So that's what this is pretty much what it what it looks like. Like I said, today. So we'll go and finish the story right now. Pause for the calls one more time. We're going to go back to the article. All right, y'all, we back once again. Like I said, I'm Los Angeles all the way to Chicago. And it says down here in the second paragraph, Sisteso does her walking at night, often traveling from 35 to 45 miles at one time. So I just gave y'all the mileage so y'all can go ahead and do the math on that. It says she came in via Death Valley. So she had to travel through deserts, as you saw, she went through Utah, went through probably some mountains, had crossed some Great Plains, and then at the end of her journey, coming in, coming in through the uh, the Death Valley. That's that's basically in the middle of the desert in California, or in between Nevada and California. It says she came through there last week, 
and was forced to go without food or water uh, two days for two days, basically. But you can just see the adversity that she faced. But as you can see, you look in her eyes. She was determined to get to where she wanted to be. Now, why she made that trek and who she was looking for or where she was going, I do not know. But it all ties in to what I was saying on my last uh, couple of videos back. And if you want to, you can check that out about the American Indians will hunt you down. That was a video that I did basically testifying to the fact to the fact that our people would literally track down whether it be an enemy or whether it be an animal. They would track them down up to 350 miles nonstop up to 350 miles. That's just what different people who were trading with us, different foreigners. That was just, you know, what they documented. They would, we would trek them up to 350 miles just to get to what we needed to get to. And then we'll make that trip all the way back. But that long distance traveling was not rare to us. It wasn't foreign to us. And then it further goes to show that our people were a traveling people. We migrated everywhere within this, within this continent, within the Americas, period. So when you see people of our complexion, and you see people who look like us in South America, Central America, Canada, different parts of the coast in North America. That's why we traveled. We stayed moving. So I just wanted to show y'all this. It's real interesting. Like I said, you know, you guys see this. Uh, you guys see this image all the time right here. You guys always see the image of this sister. You know, but know that she wasn't one to just sit still and look pretty. She was one that had a mission. She was a granddaughter of a great chief. And whatever she put her mind to, she went ahead and she got it done. You know, and that's all a good testament to the royalty of her blood. You know what I'm saying? So... As, like I said, our women are strong. Do not discredit them. Do not degrade them. Do not discount them. All right. But anyway, this has been an episode of True Story. It's Chief Steve once again signing off. Be sure to like this video. Subscribe to the channel. And share, share, share. Share our true story. All right, y'all. Till next time.